I'm guilty if I'm around cats. That was a weird example. Okay, so you get what I'm saying. And so you can see how that can box you in when you think of it like your emotions are coming from God. And so you never get to understand guilt and shame. Instead, you live in it. It's really what religion is, right? Religion is baked out of this fear of being guilty and shameful because that means you're wrong with God. And being wrong with God can have you killed. It can be deadly in the act. You could go to an everlasting place of torment. And so, hey man, and you know, a lot of people can navigate this okay, but for those of us with, with, with this genetic predisposition towards OCD, having people in our family, family and past family members that have had OCD and anxiety, we're not able, this shame and guilt seems to get wired into our brain at a young age. And so our brains automatically will start to repress these feelings of guilt and shame that we believe about our, from these beliefs that we've had about ourselves. And it becomes maladaptive, it becomes uh, pathological. It's, it's a disorder within us. Um, and yeah, and so that's the lie. The lie is that emotions are telling us a story about ourselves. They're telling us about our core beliefs. And, and that's why a lot of people that are stuck in a rigid belief system, religious belief system, they don't ever get relief from anxiety sometimes and, and, uh, and depression and certain issues. They still struggle with it because they're not actually able to be present and understanding of their emotional experience instead they just go right to a you know just read more bible pray more do this give it to this and so think about your emotions emotions are pointing to beliefs you have about yourself and are those beliefs you have about yourself are they life affirming are they good for you do they promote you do they, do they pick you up or do they tell you what's wrong with you and the journey that, that I am promoting here is one of understanding your emotions and learning to view your life and see how you are repressing those emotions of guilt and shame and developing new patterns of thinking, new patterns of behaving as we start to uncover these automatic patterns within our life that is keeping these beliefs active hope that was helpful please like this video please like my channel and uh, hope that helps